So first you go import java dot util dot scanner. Okay. Then you go public critical. Now I have a uh, sorry public class critical because the name of the file is critical. So your public static void main string args. This is the main function for all you C++ and C users. I mean, it's not very difficult. I mean, this is the main function. That's int main return zero, that one. Um, so then you have a few different kinds of variables which you go in here. Uh, so the first one is obviously the matrix. You have int matrix equal to new int and uh, I'm gonna use a 5 by 5 matrix okay then um, the next variable which we need is a, a parent array okay we need a, a defined array in which we're gonna store the patterns of the nodes visited okay you have int parent equal to new int 5 now there are 5 because uh, there are 5 nodes so every node is going to have at least one parent. So we're going to check without that if that node has that parent. Okay. Then we need a minimum variable, obviously int min. You don't need to initialize it. You can initialize it later. Then you need two variables. That is int u is equal to zero. We initialize it to zero, and int v is equal to zero. So the next thing we need is number of edges edgs which is equal to let's say one and an int total which is uh, equal to zero we initialize it to zero so these are all the things we need in order to you know start the algorithm now um we need to take the input from the user that is the graph matrix we look for int i equal to zero i less than five and i plus plus then we go uh, and make another int j equal to zero J less than five and J plus plus. This is just because this is a bi-dimensional array, which means it is of uh, more than one dimension. <coughs> Sorry, it's of two dimensions, which is why we do this. Uh, also, I want to go and set the parent of i is equal to zero. Now I'm doing this because see i is going from zero to five, or uh, zero to four. Sorry, i less than five, so it's going to zero from zero to four. So every value of that is parent of zero through parent of four will be equal to zero and that is important you, you understand it later so we do this and we go oh sorry i didn't in, i didn't make a scanner object so you go scanner scan equal to new scanner system dot you, you don't have to worry about this a lot because this is a standard method um for creating a scanner wave a scanner object it's, it's just a way to take input from the user. There are multiple ways to take inputs. This is just one of those ways, okay? So you take the input from the user like this. Go matrix i j is equal to scan dot next int. Now we are going to deal with integers, so that's why I said next int. Now one more condition. If matrix of i j is equal to equal to double equal to which means it's a condition zero then you replace it by matrix i and j by 999 because 999 is the maximum value which we are going to see in this particular example so next we're going to check a condition and run a loop so we go while number of edges 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 is less than five then you run this loop now uh, why do we check this because you want this thing to execute how many times now edges is one okay number of edges is one so every time you execute this loop you'll go number of edges plus plus but that's a different topic so you execute this one how many times if you do number of edges plus plus you go once for, for one two three four times that's the one less than number of nodes okay so that will be the number of times you want to execute it and that will be counting the number of edges you actually have visited 
because Kruskal's algorithm is basically running on the fact that you actually visit edges and not nodes. The Prim's algorithm was based on the concept of visiting nodes and not edges. So just remember that you're visiting edges, not nodes. That's why you're calculating the number of edges. Okay, so then you set min equal to 999, sorry, 999. And then you go and uh, find out the minimum value, which is of, of the edge, which is inside the matrix. So how do you do that? You go for int i equal to zero, i less than five, i plus plus, for j equal to zero, j less than five, j plus plus. And after that, you uh, check the value of minimum, sorry, uh, int, int. Okay, and after that you check the value for the minimum. So you check if matrix of i comma j is less than min. Okay, so if matrix is less than the matrix of that value is less than minimum, which means that matrix is basically less than minimum but minimum is supposed to be minimum so you give the value of minimum to the ma uh, of matrix ij to, to the minimum so you go minimum is equal to matrix i comma j okay also what you do is you give u is equal to i and v is equal to j now this is going to be very important in our next step and that is to find if they form a loop now if these now okay so what you do over here you find you, fi you find the edges okay now if you found the edge which you want to connect you have to go out and check whether that edge is forming a circuit in the graph or not so if it is forming a circuit you don't want it to form a circuit okay you don't want that edge if you don't understand what I'm saying you should probably go and check out a graphical representation of the Kruskal's algorithm. Maybe you want to understand through the code, but through the graphical representation, you might understand what I'm talking about. I'm not going to do that because I, that's not what I, what I do. I just go to the code. Okay. Um, so you go while. So right now we are checking if that is forming a loop or not. While current of u is not equal to zero give u equal to parent of u now if you don't understand what's happening over here you should probably take a pen and paper and compile this with your hands because uh, you can probably find out what's happening it's very difficult to you know um, explain it through like you know code obviously code is very hard to understand even for like me I'm not a very smart person by default <laughs> so after that is done we check if V is not equal to U now if V is not equal to U what do we do we go and increment the edge E number of edges plus plus this is the first thing we do then we print system dot out dot print ln and we print that we found an edge edge found and that edge goes from u to v see okay. u to plus v okay so that's a small v obviously and the value is plus sorry plus the value min is equal to um, how much min and then you do total plus equal to min obviously and then you go parent of v is equal to u now let's go over this in the next video this is getting too long okay i'll see you later in the next video